Hello folks and welcome to episode 2 of Wolves Academy. To commemorate the last V season of the current expansion, this episode aims to help players understand the concept of hard swapping, with a focus on tanks and melee DPS skill selection to execute a successful hard swap. This episode won't go into burst rotations, as it will potentially be changing in the new expansion. However, hard swapping as a concept will always remain, so covering this topic will still be relevant in future iterations of Feast. With that being said, let's get right into it. So, what is hard swapping? Let's take a quick dive into the terminology and an example. Hard swapping is the action of targeting your intended kill target and using your cooldown burst on them, whilst you attack a different target in the meantime to hide the fact that you want to swap to the intended target. This is designed to trick healers and the intended target themselves, meaning when you hard swap onto them, they'll be taken off guard, potentially die, or panic and use a lot of their cooldowns in the process. Why do we do this? Well, it's quite common for the enemy team to see your burst coming, often meaning they will activate defensive cooldowns, such as safeguard, protect, kiting movement, and so on, which makes it harder for you to kill them. The hard swap is meant to catch people off guard for a sneaky kill. Here is an example of hard swapping being used in high level light party matches with voice communications for countdowns. Melee, melee, melee. Oh, let's do melee, let's do melee then white mace. I'm going melee, yeah, I'm going melee now. And then we're going white mage. You see it, bro, you see it, bro. White mage, white mage, white mage, go in now. Medarian, bro. Ah, oh, beautiful, easy. With that as our quality benchmark for how to do a good hard swap, let's look at three core fundamental guidelines for initiating a successful hard swap. One, always try to hard swap when the countdown is about to hit one or zero. Swapping too early does not guarantee you will be synced up and will spook the intended target. This happens often when a healer or ranged is the intended hard swap target and suspects your attack, which usually results in them kiting, using defensives, and using a line of sight to counter you. Two, use your movement abilities. Do not run or sprint up to the target. This again will cost time and alert the target. Instead, use your abilities that swap you to the target within a GCD or OGCD. We will cover these skills in a moment. Three, Time it well if it's on the healer. A well-timed hard swap can make the difference between a win and a loss. In the final minute of a match, the assumption is that you are going to pressure the healer to try and snowball a win off of their death if you are far behind. The enemy team will expect this and will try everything in their power to kite or mitigate your attempts until the timer is low enough for it to be impossible to win. With those guidelines covered, let's look at the abilities available to melee and tanks that allow us to initiate a hard swap at the last minute of a callout or countdown. Warrior, Onslaught, possibly the best hard swap tank in Feast due to the 2-in-1 stun and gap closer in one ability. Dark Knight, Plunge, a fair ability which has a little bit of delay after you use it, but still pretty decent for hard swaps. Paladin, Holy Spirit, Unfortunately, Paladin has the weakest mobility in Feast, meaning they cannot initiate hard swaps as fast as the other two tanks, especially when long range. Now, let's look at the melee DPS abilities. Monk, Shoulder Tackle. Ninja, Shikuchi. Dragoon, Spine Shatter Dive. And Samurai, Hisatsu Soten. Use these abilities to surprise your target and attack in an unpredictable manner from various distances on the map. Hard swapping is a rare concept in solo queue as it requires a lot of coordination and setup, so I hope that more people can make use of it by using the small community of PvP as a way to create hard swap habits within solo queue. The best way to start this change is to communicate with reoccurring DPS and tanks that share the same queue as you, which is always the case in a small scene like Feast, whether that's through Final Fantasy XIV PM or social media such as Twitter and Discord. If you can lay out the expectation out that you know how to follow a hard swap, it'll increase the quality of play and trust in other people you queue up with, and will help avoid the same cooldown bursts going on predictable targets for the whole game. Right folks, so hopefully you really see the value and benefit of being able to do hard swaps. This is an essential skill set to master if you want to do light party seriously, and will improve your skills and knowledge base as a DPS and tank by a huge margin for solo queue as well. As always, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.